So, Sabrina, you filed all these Freedom of Information Act lawsuits against the CIA, against DOD. Uh, what kind of information were you hoping to get? What did you hope to achieve? Well, um, a couple of things. One, I've said that I know these documents exist, so that gives a little bit of the story. Quite realistically, and uh, realistically, I wasn't expecting much other than the Glomar uh, defense, but I was pleasantly surprised in this particular document to, sh to see, because here's the proof, even though I can't read these blank pages, of how high up this case went all the way till 2013. There are uh, emails in here right up to that time. So, you know, pieces of the story come together, I guess, when you do file a Freedom of Information Act. Uh, what's Glomar? Uh, Glomar is when you can neither confirm nor deny. So mm -hmm. the government neither confirms nor, nor denies that this rendition took place. What other documents do you think are out there? that would be telling for your case or helpful. What's interesting here is not just events leading up to the rendition, but more importantly, as it's becoming, the more I think about it, more importantly is the aftermath. The process by which the government goes full, you know, uses their entire might to make sure that nothing is ever released. So what they gave you here is not much. Are there other things that exist out there well, yeah, that you yeah. know? Yes, there are lots that exist out there. Some I know about because I've seen them myself, right. which is why I'm using FOIA to try and get that information as opposed to just leaking it to the press or talking to the press about it. And um, that's, uh, again, when I file the FOIA request, everything that I've asked for um, I know exists through either conversations, emails. Are there internal CIA documents that say, like, Sabrina DeSosa was only part of the initial planning stage and then the rendition team came in and she wasn't involved? Does that no, exist? No, not, not, not really. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, I, oh, the, actually it does, it does. I just mm -hmm. remembered. So uh, Hayden, so uh, Jose Rodriguez, who was uh, the chief of the National Clandestine Service, yeah. he, uh, um, the IG, John Helgeson, mm -hmm. the inspector general of the CIA, wanted to investigate the Milan rendition as soon as it broke into the press, right? And what transpired, etc. Jose Rodriguez, the head of the uh, National Clandestine Service, said, no, we will investigate things ourselves. And he asked General Hayden to appoint his own person to do an accountability review. So they established this accountability review board. And when that was completed, I called, they invited whoever wanted to see this document, to come up see the document. So I said, oh, I'm going to go up, take a look at this document. And I was told, no, you can't see the document because you were not involved. Mm -hmm.